Uh, Alfie, you've been part of uh, part of this club for a while. Uh, do you mind telling us a bit about your role? Um, basically, I've been here eight years. My role is club coach coordinator, so coordinating all the coaches um, and also partly player development for the youth, the, what we class as academy. Uh, have you faced any challenges uh, in, in your time here? Uh, a lot of challenges. Financially, it's really hard here. Um, Facilities-wise, it's really hard. Um, trying to get facilities in the, in the girls' and women's games is really hard to get quality facilities at the times we need to train. It's, it's all starting to pay off now. You just look at the success of the Hibs ladies team recently. Yeah, fantastic for them to make Champions League. Um, Chris, obviously the coach at Premier League, has worked really hard, built a really good squad. But part of that squad is girls that have come from the academy and worked our way up from under-13s to the ladies' first team. Uh, what do you feel needs to needs to happen for the women's game in Scotland to continue to improve? Uh, probably to be seen as equals to the men's game for facilities-wise and, and, and obviously try and build up a bit media um, and finances. We need to get some finances in. Uh, how has this uh, UEFA trip uh, benefited uh, yourself uh, as, as, a, as a coach? Um, basically, it lets us showcase what we have here and what we are doing here. Um, as a coach, it's, it's obviously it's good to show what we are doing with our girls and what we do at the academy. Um, hopefully, the practices we are doing are, are, are good and they see that um, compared to the Dutch or, or the Croatians or whatever. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's, it's good to show what we are doing. Uh, have you picked up uh, any good tips from uh, from the people from Turkey, uh, Holland or Croatia? Obviously, they, um, we play seven aside and they play eight aside and they say it's better for the game. So that's maybe something we we'll need to look at in Scotland. Um, the eight aside obviously allows you to trans transition into the 11s better. Um, so that's that's one thing we've picked up here. Uh, you're, uh, you're a volunteer, is that correct? Yes. Uh, what what is your main uh, reward out of uh, doing this job? Uh, because it must be excellent for you to see uh, some of the girls progress and go on to to play uh, not only in the women's Premier League but also perhaps you know make their move across Europe. Um, obviously, my role is a development coach. Uh, so for me, the biggest benefit I, f I get is when a girl makes the Premier League or she's selected for Scotland. It means we're doing our job correct. Um, we're not here to focus on the winning. We're here to focus on the developing. So if we can develop the players and they make our Premier League team, then we've done our job as development coaches.